Hello, my friends. Welcome back. We are still broadcasting live from PlayStation Experience 2016 in Anaheim, California. And this is it. You have tuned in at the right time because we are talking Windjammers. I have a very special guest. I have Cyril from uh, Dot Emu, and hey. welcome, sir. Thank you for joining Thank us you. on the show. Thank you. Um, we were already talking a whole bunch about Windjammers. Uh, you guys were part of the uh, showcase, and it's amazing to have you here. Uh, tell me a little bit about. Well, this game has been around for a little while, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it has been on Neo Geo, and uh, it started in '94. Okay, a couple uh, years ago. A couple years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. And since then, like, there have been like very, very few work done on the on the on the license on the game. Uh, so it's a pleasure for us to bring it back uh, for such, after such a long time. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty excited to see people playing it. And and this kind of has let's just let's take a step back and uh -huh. say that this game has kind of a almost a cultish following, and yeah. I say cultish with love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how did I, I mean? Did you guys anticipate this? Because you were see, some folks on your team have been fans for before this yeah. sort of resurgence has emerged, yeah, right? Definitely. Well, basically, we've been working with SNK for a long time now. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've we've done like uh, pretty much all Neo Geo titles uh, that you find on PC or on mobile. Um, and so basically, uh, our idea was like, hey, like we love Windjammers, we play it all the time in the office, but we didn't we didn't know how to find out the license because there was some license issues. Okay. Uh, so it started to be like a quest for us, and I was like, I need to find this license, I need to find how to bring it back, you know. So we knew people would like it because it's an awesome game, you know. So it was kind of a sure shot, uh, but the question was like, how? Uh, and basically, uh, I went to Japan. Uh, I finally met uh, the people at Town uh, DP, which is a, a Japanese company, a mobile company. They're awesome people, really cool. I presented them the project we wanted to do, and they said, like, okay, let's do it. And of course, as we've been working with SNK for a long time, uh, we also needed their blessing because uh, it's a Neo Geo, Neo Geo game after all. Of course. Uh, so we asked them, we're like, hey, we want to do that. Would that be possible? Would you be okay with that? And I said, yeah, let's do it. So everything, you know, like, uh, was fine to do it, and uh, we started to develop the game, and uh, we just like announced it uh, yesterday. So, uh, and how's it feeling? Are you guys in good it feels shape? Awesome. All right, like, good. we like the game, so we know like it's a good game. You but know, you know yeah. that it was gonna be like such a hype around it, so we're really happy about it. And your quest came has come to a, a wonderful conclusion. Exactly. Well, well I guess the it's not concluded. Is, the game is not out yet. All right, so all right, we'll all right. See, right. But, yeah, we we, we you, gr you got to a great inn, and you're resting, exactly. and you're able, and then exactly. you can uh, thrust back out. Now we can talk about it, and that's a good thing, you know. So, okay, then tell me if someone doesn't have a lot of familiarity with uh -huh. the original software uh -huh. from 94. I mean, break it down. It's a very simple premise, but there's a lot of strategy here. Exactly. Well, it's a game when you watch when you, when you watch it on a screen, <laughs> you instantly understand what, what's about, you know? Right. It's kind of fun, you know? like. But uh, it, it has a lot of depth, like a lot of strategy. It's like it's like a mix between Pong and a, and a fighting game versus fighting game like Street Fighter or mm. King of Fighter. You have different characters that you can choose that have different characteristics and different super throws that they can uh, perform. And also you have different stage with different characteristics as well. Okay. So it's a combination between a character, the stage, and uh, also your skills, of course. Right. And you have a uh, lot of um, different details that changes everything. So you have mind games, you have strategy. So in the end, it's you know that's the classic phrase like easy to learn, hard, hard to, master, to master. But it really applies to wing jammers. Now I could understand, and we'll come back to this. Uh -huh. I can understand characters having different abilities and characteristics. Yeah. How do the stages play into the sort of? Because I had assumed it was just always going to be a rectangular field, but there's some characteristics to the stage that yeah. add a wrinkle there, huh? Definitely. So basically, when you play the game. First of all, you need to score points, right? Of course. And you need to they pass the, just stand there. this behind your opponents, right. right? So you can see like there are different zones basically. There's like uh, the yellow zone, which is three points, and the red zone, which is five points. And it, it, uh, according to the stage, it changes. So the five point zone can be bigger or smaller, can be like on the sides or in the middle. Uh, the, the stages can be larger or uh, narrow, more narrow. And depending on your character, some characters move really fast, uh, some others are slower. So when you pick like a uh, stage, you have to think about what your character is good at, so you take advantage of, of your opponent on that stage. Mm -hmm. So awesome. So then let's go back to characters. Then sure. tell me a little bit about. I think there were there six international six, characters. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about them and then how their skills play a role in that. So basically, uh, you have different characters. You have uh, they all have different nationalities, like the old school games, you know. And basically, <laughs> it's a balance between speed and power. Um, the more speed you have with your character, the easier it will be to like catch the, the disc mm. uh, anywhere in the field, like by dashing. Uh, but at the same time, your disc will go slower, like uh, to your opponent's the other side. Whereas um, when you're very powerful, when you take Vessel, for example, the German guy, it's going to be way smaller, s uh, slower, but the disc is going to go very fast. 
So, you know, it depends on your style. Basically, it depends also on the stage you're working on. So you have to pick the character according to the stage. Uh, but it's uh, like here with the, with the red uh, exactly, the five the point red goal. changed uh -huh. on this stage. Exactly, exactly. Now walk me through, because I'm sure, I mean, the process of working with such a classic game that uh -huh. has such a devoted following, uh -huh. you know, that's daunting. Yeah. Walk me through a little bit, again, in layman's terms, I'm sure, but walk me through how you guys kind of treat the assets and the code and how you work with it and adapt it into a modern platform. So basically, uh, as we've been working with, I think, for a very long time, uh, we've been working on Neo Geo titles for a long time. So you have a lot of familiarity. It's an in-house emulator for that. Mm -hmm. So it's emulated, basically. That's the original game. We didn't change anything in the game. Uh, what we changed was more around it. So for example, uh, the main feature is online multiplayer, where we're going to have a uh, ranked match, we're going to have leagues, uh, like silver, bronze, gold leagues. Uh, we really want to emphasize the eSports side, so that's why we build it around it. But the, the game is exactly the same. And the people, when we see them playing on our booths here, it's crazy, like, they just love it. They're screaming, they're like, oh, come on, man, and stuff like that, it's just awesome. What do you think about Windjammer specifically kind of gave it that longevity and gave it that enduring sense of community? Well, because, I don't know, it's it's very unique game, you know, like, uh, the mechanics, again, are like, like a fighting game, but at the same time it's very peaceful, just like throwing discs at each other, you know? I don't know, it, it has something, and it's like also the, the artistic direction, it's like very 80s, you know, like so humorous and armor and so stuff, 80s. stuff like that. <laughs> it has something special, you know, that's very original. Now, tell me a little bit about, you mentioned eSports and kind of wanting uh -huh. to build a bit of a sport around yeah. this. Tell me a little bit about your plans, how you guys would approach doing something like that. So basically, the, the fighting uh, fighting games community uh, in the world, like the, the guys that are... That I, are love here, I, yeah, right? I love it, I love this. <laughs> uh, the guys that are, uh, that, uh, are passionate about uh, versus fighting, most of them know this game because it's like a legend in, within like uh, the, the fighting game community. So that's the first thing, you know, trying to engage them to try the game, play it out on the PlayStation, um, and you know, try to improve their skills and like get to the top of the ranks. And then uh, we're gonna try to find out some partners that would be uh, like uh, happy to organize events with us for official tournaments uh, uh, in different parts of the world. And you know, that's really the thing. Uh, right now, we've been working with Windjammers France, which is an association in France. These guys that's are right. that's passionate right. about the game, and they're like so good at it. When you watch a match between these guys, they're the best in the world. It just goes like boom, 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 boom. It's impossible to follow. They're so good. And we want more people doing that. We want more challengers. We want more people learning you know, how to master the game. And at some point, it's awesome to watch. So I'm sure there's a huge potential for tournaments and stuff like that. You feel like you could just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of those Windjammers France uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Myself? You can. No, no, no. I can't. Oh, <laughs> I was like, this guy is confident. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just a Padawan for now. I'm just <laughs> trying to learn it. It's really hard. But yeah, at some point, you get you get to master the game and like the different details at some point, but to really understand like the mind game, the strategy, it takes some time. What do you think about um, what is it about esports that uh, kind of has created such this huge community? You know, whether it be in the MOBA field, whether it be in the fighting game field. I mean, what what, what do you think, and what do you guys think is that like that gem in the center that's powering? Well, it's competition. It. You know, like it's measuring yourself to the others. You know, like uh, it's like it's so satisfying. You know, when you can beat someone that you feel is really strong. It's like, it's a feeling of satisfaction that few other things can satisfy, you know? So it's, it's just, that's how it started and that's how it works. And then like, you all everything around it. It's like, you know, it's like any sports basically. Absolutely. Do you feel like uh, Windjammers will benefit from sort of the, uh, the popular relation, sorry, the, forgot the word I was gonna say, I'm just gonna use a different one okay. instead. Uh, kind of the advent of the streaming technology that we've seen in, course, in this yeah. generation of consoles, especially with you know the PS4 being able to stream right on console. I mean, that must be huge for a game like this. Exactly, definitely. I mean, like, the fact, it, it, it's a very fun game to watch. You yeah. know? And like many other esports game. So that's why we really want to do it that way. And uh, yeah, of course, the streaming technology will, in fact, will, will, will uh, uh, allow that so that people can follow their, like, their favorite players, their favorite teams. So yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just the way it should go. And like on TV or on the radio before, you know, like, yeah. it's same thing. Well, we are almost out of time. Uh -huh. So I want to make sure we get on all the important points. Sure. You guys had an amazing presence at the show this year. So thank you, by the way. And thanks oh, to thank your team you, yeah. so much for being here. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about when can people expect to start getting their hands on Windjammer. So right now we're working on the online multiplayer. We want to make it perfectly right because we really want people to have the, the most balanced competition and the most like uh, perfect system for matchmaking and stuff like that. 
Uh, but we're expecting uh, launch maybe on the first semester of 2017. Okay. Uh, but we'll confirm that in the following month. All right, great. Thank you so much for being no, you're here welcome. and joining Thank us. You. It's great to have you. PlayStation.